Do a YouTube search on the Serio Gain Master vertical antenna and you will find plenty of information on how to build it. So I won't spend time showing yet another video on how to build the thing. Instead, I just wanted to uh, give some advice on guying the antenna so that it doesn't flap around like a mad crazy thing in the wind. And I'll also make some comments on its performance. This antenna is designed for use across the 27 megahertz CB band and the 10 meter amateur band. But my experience shows that this antenna is a great performer from 24 megahertz, including the 12 meter ham band, right up to 30 megahertz. We also have many shortwave listeners who regularly watch this channel. This antenna can be used quite successfully by shortwave listeners for monitoring the frequency range between 15 and 30 megahertz. Below 15 megahertz, as a listening antenna, it drops off significantly in performance, and other antennas would serve you better. However, in this current climate of uh, high sunspots, we find greater use being made of the higher frequencies by international broadcasters. So if you are a shortwave listener who likes listening to the broadcasters and the many utility transmissions uh, above 15 megahertz, then you might want to consider adding one of these Serio Gain Master antennas to your arsenal. Serio describes the Gain Master as a 5 8 wave length antenna, having the behaviour of a centre fed dipole. There is an RF choke coil at the base of the antenna, an impedance matching stub attached to the lower half of the antenna, and a capacitor in the centre that separates the top half of the antenna. The effective radiator length is 6.9 metres. Now, most vertical antennas of the quarter wave, half wave or ground plane variety require the installation of radials to send out the best signal. The Gain Master doesn't need these. Because it is a balanced antenna that functions like a centre fed dipole, it does not require radials to work efficiently. And I see this as one of the main benefits of the Gain Master. So firstly, let's have a look at the performance. Once up in the air, I have found that the antenna performs really well across the upper HF frequencies. The SWR across 24 to 30 megahertz is excellent. At my installation, the antenna analyzer is showing an SWR of under 2 to 1 from 24 to 30 megahertz and less than 1.5 to 1 for the 12 meter and much of the 10 meter ham bands and 1.2 to 1 or less across the 27 megahertz CB band. Now that's an impressive achievement. This antenna certainly has broadband characteristics and maintains its 50 ohms impedance across most of that range. Running my little 200 milliwatt whisper transmitter for a few hours showed that my signal was getting out just fine using this very low power output. And in the FT8 digital mode, I was being heard well in many parts of the world with just 40 to 50 watts on both 10 and 12 metres. Being a vertical antenna, its angle of radiation is low relative to the horizon, which is ideal for achieving the important DX factor or the distance factor in your transmitted signal. Now, one of the common complaints about verticals is that they pick up lots of noise. Local man-made electrical noise tends to be vertically polarised, and many vertical antennas habitually pick up this noise. But from a listening perspective, I find the Gain Master to be a really quiet antenna. The noise pickup is very low, which allows those weaker signals to come through. Again, because this is a balanced centre-fed design, the Serio does not appear prone to local noise, well, at least at my locality. The antenna is relatively easy to build. It will take a little longer than just slapping together a simple half-wave CB vertical but then you don't have to mess around with attaching and laying out radials, so there's a significant time saving right there. The instructions are in Italian and English and are pretty straightforward. If you need any additional help with construction, there are YouTube videos available. Okay, let's talk about guying this antenna. 
There are several YouTube videos showing the antenna's fiberglass covering snapped in half because the gain master was whipping around in high winds and had not been guyed. There have also been complaints about this problem on some of the online radio forums. Now, being nearly seven metres tall, this is a very flexible antenna and it doesn't take much of a breeze to send it moving back and forth quite vigorously. So if you don't want to suffer a broken Game Master, then you really must guide the thing. I picked a windy day to take this video. I've guided the antenna between the top and the second sections. This was the advice from Serio, and it seems to work just fine. I used thin, lightweight synthetic rope for this job, and it only required three guys to stabilise the entire antenna effectively. You can see that the antenna is not whipping around despite the windy conditions. In fact, that it's hardly moving at all. Since I filmed this, we have had some very windy days with high winds recently. The antenna has hardly moved. All that has been required was some um, slight adjustment to each of the guy ropes because over time they tended to stretch a tiny bit. There is no way that this gain master is going to uh, snap in half. So the moral of the story is if you choose not to uh, follow Serio's advice and don't guide the antenna, then you can't complain about it if it breaks. For some time now, the sunspot cycle has been rising with some excellent propagation conditions on the 10 and 12 metre amateur bands. But I didn't want to go to all the trouble and expense of putting up a three element beam on a rotator on a mast or a tower to be able to enjoy some action on the upper HF bands. So I'm delighted with the Serio Gain Master. It has allowed me to uh, make great contacts globally with minimum hassle and fuss. Yes, it's an omnidirectional antenna that sprays its signal out all over, all over the place in all directions. So you don't benefit from the directionality of beam antennas. But for my purposes and budget, the Gain Master works just fine. And if, like me, you are also a shortwave listener, uh, you'll find that the Gain Master is a quiet antenna that allows you to pick up weaker signals on frequencies above 15 MHz. So, there you have it. An excellent vertical antenna for the upper HF bands. Finally, I don't make dozens of YouTube videos each month. I just upload something every now and again, so if you want to keep uh, posted on future videos, please feel free to subscribe to the channel to be notified when the next video is available. 73's folks, and I'll see you again soon.